Okay, back to our lesson. So, class, always remember we can calculate the circumference of the Earth by using pi r squared. Come on. Come on. Okay, class, time for pizza! first all the time, but somebody's got to do it. <laughs> <laughs> what took you guys so long? What's the rush, Mauricia? I'm not in a rush. I just like to be first. Line up for sports gear. Yay! Yay! I'm first for soccer. Thanks. <laughs> I'm first for baseball. Thanks. Awesome! I'm first for... <laughs> Whatever. Whoa! Better get extra gear. I'm first for extra gear! Mauricia, what do you need all that stuff for? You don't even like some of these sports. So? Even if I don't like them, I still want to be first in line to play them. Hey! I'm first! <laughs> Whoa! I think I drank it all! Uh-oh. Coming through! I'm first! Um, Mauricia, this is the boys' bathroom. You can't go in there. That's okay. I didn't have to go. I just wanted to be first! Oh, yeah? Hey! Wait your turn! My favorite part of the day just me and my donut. Ah. What? Uh, ah! Go! Die, 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 die. Hey, Mr. K, did you check out those new wheels I put on your podium yet? Wheels? This is ridiculous! Who cares if you're first in line for the boys' bathroom? Ha! Spoken like a true second placer! You just don't understand. Ooh, I'll beat you all to class! <laughs> Stupid wheels! Hate him even more than Goose Axe. Ah! Mr. K, are you all right? Your band, all of you. The students? No, these round things. Mr. Kitswater, no! Your band, you two, and your band too, get lost. Whoa, Mr. K, are you banning wheels from Wayside? No, Lewis, I'm going even further. I'm banning anything that's round. I mean, round. All done. Are you sure about this, Lewis? Mr. K's new rule, can't have anything round. Now everything is so fair and square. Lunch time! Yeah! <sighs> hey, shouldn't we wait for Mauricia? Don't worry, Todd. She's fast. She'll catch up. Besides, she never waits for us. Huh. I guess you're right. <gasps> Hold on, guys. I'm coming. Guys? Ah, nothing.
nothing like eating three square meals a day. <laughs> Mauricia, where have you been? Square. Despair. Going nowhere. <sighs> yeah! Come on, Mauricia. Time for class. Be right there. Um, you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm coming. Just gotta work up some momentum here. <laughs> Ugh. Maybe you should go on ahead. I'll catch up. I always do. Yay! I got it! Hooray! Hmm, this stuff doesn't work too well. But at least we get to play with it. <laughs> Sorry, Mauricia. All out. Need some company? Thanks, Todd. I always knew you were slow. Oh, I mean, nice. Thanks. And I'm not that slow. Yes, you are. Just look at you. Mauricia, who cares who's slower, fast, or first, or last? I do! I do! I do! Now just watch as I beat you to the top! Time for my daily hula hooping. Ooh, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ooh, ah, ooh, hmm. Even my yo-yo is better. I love squares. Ah, at least I can still enjoy my favorite part of the day, donut time. Donut? I'm first! I'm first! Or am I last again? Oh, look who just beat me up the stairs! You don't have to do that, Todd. Did I give you too much of a head start? No, it's not that. But you're first. Be happy. But I can't. Sitting here all by myself, it seems whether you're first or last isn't as important as being with your friends. Happy donut time ruined? <laughs> no! I've got to round things up around here. Round it up! Round it up. 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 Not you. Gotta admit, it's kind of nice to actually spend time with your friends instead of always trying to beat them. Especially your special friends. No need to make that fist square. Round it up. And those wheels, too! It's great to have my wheels back! Race you to the schoolyard! Wait a minute. Hey! You guys coming or what? 
Mauricia, you waited for us? Why wouldn't I? Because now you won't be first. Ah, no sense rushing everywhere if you just end up getting there alone. <laughs> I mean, duh. Why don't we all be first together? Isn't that sweet? Totally. Those kids are awesome. Who? I don't know what you're blathering about, Lewis. All I care about is my sweet donut. <sighs> Round it up. Everyone looking good. Time to beautify this place. Mr. K, why are we cutting everything down? We're not cutting down, Lewis. We're building up. For example, we need to remove this green bushy-shaped eyesore to make way for my new plans for the schoolyard. You're definitely not part of my plan. Shoo shoo, go away. This thing. <laughs> ah, now that's what I call progress. <laughs> Mr. Kidswater? Is the plan to cut everything down? Yes, it's all part of my plan. We need every square inch of this yard for my new gazebo. <laughs> huh? Poor little guy. Ah, perfect. Stage one complete. I'll be in my office thinking up stage two while all of you clean up this mess. Hey, Joe's ditching yard duty. He's doing less work than Myron. What? That's impossible. No one does less work than me. We'll see about that. Hey, Joe, wait up. Joe, I just wanted to say, achoo, and achoo, achoo, achoo. Are you okay? I think I'm allergic to... Joe? Now, everyone, what's the most important part of spelling class? The calculator! Correct. Mauricia, I don't see your calculator. It's right here, Mrs. Jules. Ah, now, does everyone know what we do with our calculators in spelling class? I know. You turn it upside down and spell words for the numbers, like this. 07734 spells hello. Ooh. Excellent, Dana. Mrs. Jules, silly me, I forgot my calculator for spelling class. Oh, Joe has an extra one. Just borrow his. Joe, may I borrow one of your... <laughs> Joe, your hair just threw something at me. No, it didn't. Yes, it did. 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 Hey! It didn't do it that time either. I couldn't see anything around that hair. It's like it grew. Yeah, it grew into a giant stinky peanut throwing thing. Maybe he just needs to wash it. Or cut it. Or prune it. <laughs> hey! Mind if I sit with you guys? Achoo! Um, that seat is taken. Taken? Taken by, uh... By Steven's imaginary friend. I thought I told you to wait at home, Mr. Invisible. Achoo! Phew, that was a close one. I feel bad for lying to him. I feel bad for smelling him. Mr. Invisible, you're 
silly. Joe's gone, Stephen. You can stop pretending now. Pretending what? Let's go solve a mystery, Mr. Invisible. <laughs> Guys, maybe we should tell Joe we're sorry. Ew! Never mind. Why, hello, my little friend. Don't you know you're trespassing? Maybe you need a closer look at my plan. Kidsky, why are you scared a little furry pickle who no bother you? Sorry, Miss Mush. I just can't let anyone get in the way of my gazebo with all its playrooms and balconies and, and entertainment stuff. What? You know what gazebo is? Of course I do. It's one of those, you know, amazing, fun gazebo places where you gazebo. What? You don't believe me? Fine. I'll show you. I'll show the whole school. Lewis! Yes, Mr. K? Get everyone down here. My gazebo should be here any minute. And I want everyone to see my gazebo. Because it's where I will gazebo in my gazebo. Got it? Uh, whatever you say, Mr. K. That's it. You guys have a problem with me? Oh no, we like you. It's just your head. You know, Achoo! on top of your head. Achoo! There's nothing wrong with what's on top of my head. That didn't happen. Again. Oh. Come on, children, hurry. Mr. Kidswater wants us all downstairs for the unveiling of his new gazebo. Yeah! Oh, no. Oh, the last green thing in the schoolyard. Oh, no, you don't. I'm going to need that space for my gazebo. What do you mean, no? Don't you know you're getting in the way of my glorious and grand gazebo? What's Mr. K doing to that poor squirrel? No! Whoa, Joe! We want to save that squirrel, not scare him with, you know. Whoa! My crown, my gazebo. <laughs> what is he doing? Huh? Where'd he go? Ha! Must have scared him away. That'll show him to get in the way of my gazebo with all its disco floors and hot tubs. Joe, your hair saved that squirrel. And two rabbits and a chipmunk. I'm allergic to chipmunks. So that explains why I'm sneezing. I think we owe you an apology about, you know. No, I don't. Yeah, we're sorry we avoided you before. We didn't realize your hair was a nature refuge. Yeah, if it wasn't for you, I don't know what would have happened to those little guys. Achoo! Your hair is awesome. Thanks. <laughs> Here it is, my gazebo. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Open 
Open it, Lewis! Open it! What's that? It's your gazebo, Mr. K. But where's the dance floor? The hot tub? All the party rooms? Um, I don't know where you got that idea, Mr. K, but this is pretty much what a gazebo looks like. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Take it away. Now! Ugh. As for the rest of you, I have a new plan. You'll all turn this barren wasteland back into a schoolyard. Wait a minute. Why do we have to do all the work? Okay. Revise new plan. We'll turn this barren wasteland back into a schoolyard. <laughs> okay. I will turn this barren wasteland back into a schoolyard. Yeah! Stupid gazebo. Ow! Now that's how you beautify your yard. Yay! <laughs>